Hey, how you doing today? Today I want to show you how to take audiobooks from the library on them, put them onto your Yodo player. Wow. Several steps are required. So let's jump right in. Yodo player is a kind of kids MP3 player, and you have the ability to make your own cards. You can basically put whatever MP3s you want on them. Here is my list of playlists of books that I've made. And most of these are actually from the library, which is awesome and it's free. So how did I do this? All right, so I'm going to go to access this item on my library website. I'm going to click on download MP3 audiobook. I'm just going to open up a link to my OverDrive app. You might have to do a little bit of digging to find that OverDrive app. Now it's asking me where to download. You can see it has five different parts here. You're downloading five different MP3s, ranging from about 40 minutes to 80 minutes. Now this is way too long, so we're going to split these up into smaller tracks. You can see it's downloading here. Now I'm going to flip over to listen in browser, and I'm going to use this to grab the chapter names. I'm going to expand this a little bit, and I'm going to zoom out on my screen here and use Google Keep to extract the text from this. So I'm going to make a couple of screenshots here. And now I'm going to copy this, well, copy that into Google Keep, and I'm going to get the last couple of chapters here that I couldn't grab. Now Google Keep has a really cool feature, which is grab image text. Basically it grabs the text from pictures and you can see it didn't actually come in perfectly. I need each one of these to be a different line. Okay. Now this should be ready to go. I'm going to copy all this and I have a spreadsheet set up. And the spreadsheet is basically going to convert this into a file type that I can use to create labels for another audio software. So I'll just kind of briefly show you how that works. Now the audio software I want to show you is called audacity. I'm going to go to that folder where I downloaded those MP3s and I'm going to just copy these in all five of them into my audacity file. So probably take me a few seconds for them to all load up. Okay. So now I have five MP3s in here. I'm going to see them all in it. View track size fit height. Now you can see them all here. If I push play, they're going to play all at the exact same time. So I'm going to stack them end to end. So I'm going to go to select all and tracks line tracks end to ends. Now what I really want to do is I want to export these based on labels. And so I don't have any labels in here yet, but I'm going to use that Excel spreadsheet to make labels. Labels wants three rows, a start, an end, and a chapter name. So I'm going to copy that from Google Keep. I'm going to right click right here. It drops these in, in the right format. And these are based on seconds here. Now I'm going to go to a text file paste this into my text file, and then this can be imported into that Audacity. Let me go to the right folders, go back to Audacity. Now I'm going to import the labels. Now you can see I have all these labels at the bottom. This is going to create an MP3 based on each of the chapter titles. Okay, now, so I'm going to go to File, Export, Export Multiple, and I'm going to base it off of labels, drop it in the right folder here, and I've chosen this to be stereo. I've changed the quality to be 65 to 105 kilobytes per second. I use label and track name. Okay, while that's going, I am going to start by making a playlist. I'm going to call this the dongle look. I'm just going to add one track, kind of get it going here. Now I'm going to upload art. And once you've added a track, it kind of knows which folder to go to. The really nice thing about the OverDrive app is it also brings in a couple cover pictures. Bring that one in. And I really like to make the pixels. So I'm going to go to my icons here, upload icon, and I'm going to right click on this and go to edit. I'm going to actually make this a little bit cooler. So I'm going to make a screenshot of that right there. And then I'm going to I'll save this, call it jungle pixel. Raise out. And now I'm going to pick this, bring in that pixel that I just made. Apply it all tracks. There we go. Okay. You can see this has made 14 tracks instead of the five that originally had all my 14 tracks in here. I'll often double click on them to make sure they work. I go type it. Perfect. Now this, I'm going to add the rest of the audio. This track, one pixel, apply all tracks. Okay, now that that's done, I can just create the playlist. And now I could go onto my app, find the playlist, link it to a make your own card, and there it goes. Now, if you want to go next level to make some awesome little sticker labels, which I have maybe gotten a little bit into, you can print them out. I would highly recommend buying this printable 
vinyl sticker paper that's waterproof. Got a few different kinds, and this kind of works the best by far. All right, everyone has fun getting their Yodo players up to date with some audiobooks, and I hope you have a great one.